Hey everybody, really quick, welcome to 2020. Now is a great time to take a quick cybersecurity refresher when we talk about protecting ourselves online from any unwanted intruders into our information. One of the things that we need to start with is just this new terminology, this look, hover, and click, right? Think stop, drop, and roll, but instead for internet safety. So we're going to start by looking at information to make sure that this is valid. We're going to hover over any potential suspicious links. And then finally, if it is safe, we will click just like we would stop if we were on fire, drop, and roll. Most of us know that. Let's work on look, hover, click when we're on the internet. So here's an email. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the details up here because I am not sure how I sent myself this email. And it looks, whoa, okay, there it is. Yeah, it's from my account. It is from me. That is something that I sent myself, and it's there. So that's one thing I can do, but I'm still, I don't remember sending it. So I want to hover over this link, and in the lower left-hand corner, you will see the URL for what that link actually represents. That link right now, as I zoom in, is going to don'tclickhere.org. Seems like something I don't want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm done with this email. This email is no good to me. If I check on another one, look, this one is actually from me. So this is my second email here. It is from me, but as I look at the details, right, it's actually from lookhoverclick at gmail.com. That's not me. So that what Google does is, hey, look, they might be phishing you here, right? And that is the idea that they're searching for information that you might have. So they, they notice that this is a, an email that's coming in. They look at this, this link in here, and they want to make sure that it's safe. So actually, one of the biggest hacks of Google accounts that's happened happened because individuals were getting an email of a Google Doc from people that they know clicking on it, and then they're being prompted to log back in on a very well duplicated uh, link uh, website to, to kind of collect that information. So now all of a sudden, these hackers were gathering information for everybody's Google accounts, and they were able to access all kinds of different information. So you really want to make sure that you're careful with something like that. So when I hover over this link again, what I'm seeing is that it is not to Amazon. It is to a misspelling of Amazon, and that's one way that hackers try to trick you and try to fish you is they'll buy a domain that's really close to Amazon.com, something like GoAmazon.com or BuyAmazon.com, something like that. And that way you are like, oh, that makes sense. I'll click on it, and you guys just need to be super vigilant when you guys are doing that. Finally, let's take a look at a website. For the first thing we want to look at on a website is for this lock up in the corner. That lock says that this is protected through the secure HTTPS protocol, right? So it's the protocol secure. It's meaning that your data is encrypted from you to the person that runs the site. That's really important. You don't want anybody to intersect anything. So before you enter any credit card information, passwords, usernames, birth dates, all of that stuff, Make sure that there is a little lock up here on the website. Next down here, you can see that there are a couple links in here. And as you look down in the corner, you can see that do not click here.org has reared its head again. And then you look over here. And again, we have another misspelling of Amazon. This is probably not a safe site. Now, I want to preface this by saying that just because a site doesn't have a lock up here doesn't mean it's not safe. It just means that the information between you and that anybody else right now is not being used, so you want to make sure. So here's an example. This is ucla.edu, so part of the University of California, Los Angeles. Here it is, right? I want to go in here, and I want to see these different things. So, yeah, I want to make sure, like, okay, so this is, I don't want to put any custom customer information. I don't want to put anything in here. If I go to apply, though, what you'll see is that if I go and I want to actually apply for something, Right? I should see that this site becomes more secure as I work through it. All right? It's obviously not happening here, but now as I go to the university admissions here, I have the lock. So if I wanted to apply, if I wanted to put personal information in, I need to double check for that lock. I want to thank you guys for watching. I wanted to help you guys protect yourself. So remember when you're browsing the internet to look, hover, and click. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in.